In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to rationalize a cube root binomial in the denominator. So we're going to go through two examples. And before we dive into this, we just want to do a quick review of our sum of two cubes factoring and our difference of two cubes factoring. So let's just take a simple example like x cubed minus 8. So we recognize this as a difference of two cubes because you can see that this is x times x times x, or x the quantity cubed, and 8 is really like 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 the quantity cubed. So in our formula, x is going to be like our a value, and 2 is going to be like our b value. So if we go and factor this, because this is a difference of two cubes, we're going to use this bottom one. This is going to factor to x minus 2, x squared, plus 2x, plus 2 squared, which is 4, <clears throat> and now we have it factored. So knowing what we know about factoring difference of two cubes and sum of two cubes, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at this denominator, 2 minus cube root of 5. And what we're going to realize is that this part here represents this binomial here. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by this trinomial so that when we multiply these together, we get a difference of two cubes, and that's how we're going to eliminate the cube root. So in practice here, what we're going to do is, let's think of this 2 as our a value. Let's think of this cube root of 5 as our b value. So what we're going to do now is we're going to multiply it by this quantity right here. So it's going to be a squared, so 2 squared is 4, plus a times b, so that's going to be 2 times the cube root of 5, plus b squared, so that's going to be cube root of 5 squared, which is the cube root of 25. Now remember, whatever you do to the denominator, we have to do that same thing to the numerator, because this is like multiplying by 1, okay, and 1 times anything is itself. So let's go ahead and put that in the numerator. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to realize that we've got this binomial times this trinomial, and it's going to give us this quantity here on the left, a cubed minus b cubed. So what would that be? Well, let's see. So this would actually be a cubed, which is 8, okay, minus b cubed. Well, the cube root of 5 cubed would just be 5. So that's what our denominator actually comes out to, which you can see this is just going to be 3. So what we notice now is that this 3 in the denominator and this 3 in the numerator, they're actually going to cancel, leaving us with a negative 1. So all we have to really do is distribute negative 1 to the rest of those terms in the numerator, and that's going to give us negative 4 minus 2 cube root of 5 minus the cube root of 25, and you got it. So let's take a look at another example. See if you can practice example number 2 on your own, and we'll go through it together. So in this particular problem, you can see we have a sum in the denominator, and we've got that cube root that we're trying to eliminate or get rid of or rationalize. So in this case, because we have a sum, we're going to be making use of this top equation here. And you can see this represents this binomial. We're going to multiply by this trinomial. So in this problem, you can see our a value is 3 and our b value is equal to the cube root of 2. So if we go ahead and multiply by this trinomial here, this is going to be a squared, which comes out to 3 squared, which is 9, minus a times b, which is going to be 3 times the cube root of 2, plus b squared, cube root of 2 squared is cube root of 4. Now remember, whatever we multiply the denominator by, we also want to multiply the numerator by that same quantity. And now what's happening is when we multiply this binomial and trinomial together, we're getting this sum of two cubes here on the left. So if we think of this as a sum of two cubes, that's going to be a cubed plus b cubed. 3 cubed we know is 27. b cubed is just going to be cube root of 2 cubed, which is just 2. So you can see that this denominator here is coming out to 29. Okay, now we want to figure out what the numerator is. And the way that we can do this is distribute the 5 into the parentheses here. So if we do that, I'll write it down here. This comes out to 45 minus 
15 cube root of 2, we put the cube root over here, cube root of 2, uh, plus 5 times the cube root of 4, all divided by 29. And you can see we've rationalized that denominator. We don't have that radical in the denominator. We just have an integer value there. So that works out a lot nicer. So great job. If you want to check out some of my video courses that I have for sale, I have an Algebra 1 and an Algebra 2 video course for sale. Their links are in the description below. Or if you just want to support what I'm doing here on YouTube, consider becoming a channel member. For a few dollars a month, you can help support the channel, and I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.